Hey guys, so this is part two of my Black Friday slash Cyber Monday shopping haul and I did include some things that I picked up recently but most of everything is from the Bath and Body Works and the Body Shop and if you are a family member or a friend of mine I would suggest clicking out of this video right now because some of these things will most likely be gifts to you so there is your fair warning. Go ahead and click out right now. Right now. Like right now. Okay, so I did go a little Bath and Body Works crazy. I made a few trips there recently. They had a decent sale on Cyber Monday, so I ordered something online, and then I also stopped in recently to pick up more of the Three Wick candles. But I'll show you what I picked up online first. I picked up a bunch of the little mason jar candles, and this one is Vanilla Bean Noel. This one I actually have grown to like a lot. It's a creamy blend of vanilla bean, rich cocoa, and sweet cream with a touch of caramel and brown sugar. So this one is really sweet smelling, obviously. But to me, it's a little bit Christmassy as well. I don't know what it is, but I do like this one a lot. And then I picked up Merry Cookie, which is another really kind of sweet scent. With pure vanilla, butter, and sugar. So this one is really sweet smelling. And this one is, I feel like this one is mostly that like buttery cookie dough kind of scent. I know people love the scent of like vanilla and um, cookie dough, so this one will be a gift. And then I have cinnamon frosting, which is grated cinnamon, um, cloves, vanilla bean, and whipped buttercream. So even though I love cinnamon, I think this one is really sweet smelling because of like the vanilla and um, the buttercream and whatnot. And then last but not least, my favorite of the four, this is Winter Candy Apple. This is supposed to be candied apples, spiced orange zest with a touch of winter musk. And I just really like the scent. I'm a fan of like the apple scent, but it also kind of like just really reminds me of Christmas. So that's why I think I like this one the best. But like I said, these candles will most likely be gifts. And then along with that order, I also picked up some body stuff. And these were buy one, get one free at the time. So I picked up um, Cranberry Twinkle. This is the Triple Moisture Body Cream. And this one smells really, really good. It's very fruity, but I love the scent of cranberry. So I thought this would be really good. And then I picked up the little um, fragrance mist. And again, this will be another gift to someone. Okay, so then I picked up some things for myself because I really needed some more hand soaps. I always get the Bath and Body Works hand soaps. So I picked up four. This one is Winter Cranberry. This is the uh, foaming one. I really like the foaming ones, but I feel like I go through them so quickly. Um, so I picked up most of their, I think it's called like the Winter Frost line. So this one, and then I also picked up the crisp golden pear one. This one is the regular hand soap one with the antibacterial little beads in it. And I also got the fresh sparkling snow one in the regular hand soap version. And last but not least, I picked up sparkling pink champagne in the foaming hand soap. I believe they were having some sort of sale on these in store, but there's always some kind of sale going on and I have about a million coupons from them. So there's always like really good deals going around. So then I went back to Bath & Body Works recently because they were having another big sale on their candles. And I posted this on Facebook right when I saw this, but all their three wick candles were on sale for $8 and I thought that was a really good deal. So of course, being like a crazy candle lady that I am, I went and picked up a couple. And again, these are not all for me. I grabbed Winter from the White Barn collection and I've smelled this before. I've never really liked it. And then for some reason, I went in and I smelled this again and I was really drawn to it. This one has notes of pine needles, clementines, and winter woods. So it's definitely not something that I would normally get, but it just smells so much like a Christmas tree to me or like being outdoors and around like pine trees and stuff but it smells really good to me now and then I picked up winter vanilla latte this one is a newer one a part of their new winter marketplace collection and I really like this one a lot this one is vanilla beans and luscious caramel topped off with decadent whipped 
cream. And again, I don't usually go for vanilla scents that are really, really sweet, but this one is really good. And another really good one from this collection is Mulled Cider. And I really like that one, but I didn't pick it up because it was too similar to some other ones that I have. But if you guys like apple scents or like kind of spicy scents, that one is a really good one. Speaking of spicy scents, I picked up Harvest Gathering number no. 4, I guess. Um, this one is supposed to be a blend of fresh pumpkin, warm harvest spices, and apples. And this one smells kind of similar to mulled cider, so I didn't pick that one up. But it smells so good. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorites out of all of these. I'm just very drawn to like spicy scents with like apple and pumpkin, so this one is perfect. And it actually kind of reminds me of a fruitier version of leaves, if you guys like that one. I really, really like this one. Last but not least, I picked up Champagne Toast, which my roommate has, and I thought it smelled really nice. So I picked it up, and this is supposed to be a blend of champagne, juicy nectarine, and black currant. So it smells really, really fruity, but it's a very light kind of fruity scent, so I like that. And everything else that I picked up was like super sweet and kind of spicy, so I thought I would pick up something a little bit lighter, and I really like this one too. So that's everything that I picked up from Bath & Body Works, and then I had some things from The Body Shop that I picked up, and they were having a really good deal. It was buy three, get three free, which is actually a really good deal for some of the products that they do carry, and I'm really happy with what I picked up. The first thing I picked up is their Drops of Youth from their Nutriganics line, and I've never heard of this before, I've never tried it, but the lady told me it was one of their best-selling products and it's been raved about so I decided I would give it a try because it was for such a good deal. This alone is worth 30 something dollars and my whole transaction was only 30 something dollars so this made it worth it for me to pick this up. So it looks like this, it comes in this one fluid ounce glass bottle and it has a glass dropper inside and I only use one drop every single night before I go to bed and before I put on my moisturizers and serum. What I really like about it is it doesn't have any parabens or silicones in it so it's really good for my skin and I've been using this for about three weeks I've really really liked it so far obviously this is more targeted for youth enhancing and anti-aging and whatnot but I'm getting towards that age and I want to start taking care of my skin and it's actually never too young to start taking care of your skin. And then along with that I also picked up the Nutriganics Smoothing Eye Cream and this is supposed to reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and whatnot. So again, this is something else for anti-aging but I do think it's really important to take care of the skin around your eyes because that is where you usually show signs of aging and I don't have signs of crow feet or wrinkles around my eyes yet but I know that I do tend to tug at the skin around my eyes a lot because of like makeup removal or anything like that and this is really nice I do use this morning and night you get 0.5 fluid ounces and it comes in a little pump container which is really nice I thought this was one that does reduce like puffiness and redness which sometimes happens to me but this I feel like has done the job of that as well so I really like this a lot and last but not least I picked up this vitamin E nourishing night cream this is for all skin types it's basically just a heavier kind of moisturizer for nighttime and I really like this so far as well. I wake up and my skin is so soft, but I use all three of these and I know it's adding a little bit more to my nighttime routine, but once you see like the results and how it's really making your skin look better, it's not so much a like chore or anything. I honestly kind of look forward to doing this at night once I remove all my makeup and whatnot. It just feels really good. So these three products were buy three for 30 and it was a really good deal because like I said, the drops of youth itself was 30 something dollars and my total was only 30 something dollars. But I did pick up one more thing apart from that sale. I picked up the um, Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. This again is for all skin types and this is a really nice cleansing oil. It seriously takes off all of my makeup and all of my eye makeup without even hardly trying and I feel like it does a better job than my eye makeup remover because I use this and it takes off everything. Whereas if I use my eye makeup remover and then I wash my face, I still find there is makeup residue on my eyes afterwards. So that's pretty much everything that I had in this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have favorites from The Body Shop, I would love to hear your recommendations in the comments. Or if you have a favorite scent from Bath & Body Works, let me know in the comments so I can check those out as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!